Hi, I'm Michael Candy, and my work, Little Sunfish, is part of Experimenta Lifeforms. Little Sunfish is the result of months of research into basically works to do with the ocean or water and life forms around that. I think I started researching the project and it led me down many avenues and then this, at the time, the very glaring incident of the Fukushima disaster, these robots they were sending into the reactors and, and what they actually mean as, as symbols, like there's this sort of kind of embodiment of hope, I suppose, and that there's these, these little devices were built to exist in very varying and harsh environments and they were given cute names for, for their sort of tasks. Little Sunfish in particular was designed to go uh, in Fukushima Daiichi reactor number three, which was completely flooded. It was the first successful mission to actually see the molten core of the reactor and sort of became a little bit of a mascot. So all these devices become almost immediately unusable because they're contaminated. And so they have this life cycle that isn't forever. They, they have a kind of a one-way ticket, but very heroic mission. So. I became very drawn to Little Sunfish and water was one of the key concerns around the Fukushima d disaster uh, as they stored billions of liters of irradiated water from the reactors that they couldn't filter. The narrative was definitely born out of that disaster and I think that's, that's kind of what inspired Little Sunfish. Little Sunfish is a reinterpretation of the journey of the real um, Little Sunfish that was sent into the Fukushima reactor. My story takes a turn where the, the robot becomes a vessel for radiation and eventually escapes the reactor into the ocean and meets some critters along the way before it sort of swims upstream like a dying salmon and then finally comes to pass and re-releases that radiation back uh, into the water. So to, to create a realistic replica, scaled the original drawings of Little Sunfish and looked at photographs in detail, recreating a CAD model over many months and 3D printing one fourth scale fully functioning robot submarine. There were several of these built for different scenes. Some could exist in salt water, some swam autonomously, some were fully remotely operated via infrared, which only worked in fresh water. They were designed around the scenes they had to exist in, so some could only release the cable for that cable release scene, or others could putter along in salt water, but without any control. So there was m many real world limitations I had to overcome, and I chose the one fourth scale so that I could build detailed replicas of the inside of the reactor inside a large fish tank and keep things to scale. So there was a huge amount of information on TEPCO website about these voyages that little, the real little sunfish did, a lot of 3D images and photographs of the inside of the reactor. So I had a huge amount of detail to draw on and create a very realistic uh, re-representation um, of this adventure. I think my whole attraction to robotics and like automation is kind of the future I was promised was not what we've ended up with. In the media I watched growing up, like Short Circuit was probably my favorite movie uh, where a robot gets struck by lightning and is all of, it's, it's basically the plot of Little Sunfish. It becomes sentient and starts doing good where its purpose was actually to be a evil military robot. With these artworks, I like to explore what could um, honest robotics be and like what there's there's a sort of innate thing that we have as humans to kind of embody personalities or gain attachments to uh, inanimate objects or animate objects in this case we feel attracted to in technology that we can't resist and robots are definitely a key part of that discussion but for me i think comedy and naivety is a very good way to have very critical discussions and I think with Little Sunfish and a previous work, Ether Antenna, in which these robots are very clumsily existing in quite harsh environments, it can draw people in. And 
like invite people who otherwise might step away from something that is a little more gloomy to kind of engage with the work differently. Thank you.